Did you know that in third person shooter Wanted Dead, if you enter up up down down left right left right at the main menu, you will unlock the game's easiest difficulty. If you choose to play on this setting, your character will also be forced to wear a pair of cat ears. But let's be honest, she still looks pretty tough. Hello and welcome to Hidden Video Game Details, the series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games so that you can look really clever in front of the person who secretly has a crush on you. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and if you do, I'll make sure to stop sending love letters to your auntie. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin today's video with Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart is a single player first person shooter set in an alternate history 1955. In this alternate history, the Soviet Union became a technological powerhouse, leaving other competing nations in the dust. Now, from what I've played of Atomic Heart, I can see why so many people liken it to the Bioshock series. It just lacks a little bit of polish that those games have. But if you're hankering for more Bioshock action, you could do a lot worse than Atomic Heart. Now, the first detail from Atomic Heart isn't actually a detail, it's an easter egg, but I don't plan on covering the game in my easter egg series, so I thought I'd include it here. At the very beginning of the game, you can hear a very familiar code. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. So the 0451 code has been in tons of games before mainly immersive sim games like Bioshock and Deathloop. The code is a reference to the same code that was used to open the doors at Looking Glass Studios in Cambridge, who were responsible for classic immersive sims like Thief and System Shock 2. So the first actual detail from Atomic Heart is a prank phone call, because even in the 1950s Soviet Union, people still had time to channel their inner Bart Simpson and carry out a really good prank phone call. If you use the phone near the beginning of the game, this will happen. Hi, do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yeah, and we ain't letting him out. Oh. Then, is your refrigerator running? Yeah, and it's coming to get you, kid. Ah, oh, crap. Please, enough with the prank calls, comrade major. Now, I don't know if the final detail from Atomic Heart is just me reading too much into things, or if the Atomic Heart developers knew exactly what they were doing. I'm going to present this detail without comment, and I want to know what you think. So what do you think? I'm sure that some of the more innocent minds watching this video will have no idea what I'm talking about, but I can guarantee that some of you see what I do. And if you do, let me know that I'm not alone in the comments down below. So last week, Overwatch 2 launched its collaboration with One Punch Man. Along with some very, very expensive skins, the collab also transformed Overwatch 2's main menu, with it now showing Doomfist dressed as Saitama as he chills in his apartment. Well, it turns out that there is more to this screen than meets the eye. Saitama has a very strict workout regime that sees him do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10 km run. What's really cool is, if you leave Doomfist long enough, he will actually perform the workout. That's right, he will do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats before leaving to go on a 10 km run. Now, I've uploaded the full workout on my Clips channel, which should be linked in the description. So if you want to go and count to make sure that Doomfist isn't cheating, then be my guest. Up next is the excellent Luigi's Mansion. Now, my first experience with a Luigi's Mansion game was with Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Nintendo Switch, and I loved it. So much so that I decided to go back and play the older games in the series, starting with the 2001 GameCube original. Now, seeing as Luigi's Mansion is a Nintendo game, it's full of that trademark Nintendo charm. I mean, just take a look at what happens when you open a fake door. Well, the detail that I wanted to share from Luigi's Mansion in today's video is just as cool. Whenever Luigi enters an area that he hasn't cleared yet, he will hum along to the background music. Here, take a listen. Mm -hmm. 
So poor Luigi doesn't sound too happy as he hums along. Well, after clearing the room, Luigi does this instead. So now that the ghosts have gone, Luigi will happily whistle the background music, which is no longer playing as there are no ghosts. I mean, the game does make it pretty obvious when you've cleared a room, but this is just a really nice way to let players know that they've busted all the ghosts that they can. Next up is Grand Theft Auto 4. Now we have covered GTA 4 in this series before, with the most recent appearance being in episode 81, where we discovered that looking at a um, <clears throat> certain website would immediately reward you with a 4 star wanted level. Well today's GTA 4 detail surprisingly doesn't require us to break the law. Scattered around Liberty City are car washers that charge $5 to clean your car, which seems fair enough. The thing is, there's a massive sign advertising a discount if you're a taxi driver, taking the wash from $5 to just three. Now, this sign could have simply been set dressing and didn't actually affect the in-game car wash price. But sure enough, if you take a taxi to the car wash, you will be charged $3. This is one of my favourite details in video games, simply because a lot of developers would have overlooked this, but Rockstar didn't. Right, let's end today's video with Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Web of Shadows released in 2008 to negative reviews from the game's media. Though as time has gone on, many players believe Web of Shadows to be one of the stronger entries in the Spider-Man series. It's easy to see why, with swinging that's quick to learn but tough to master, combat that sees you bouncing from enemy to enemy, and even giving Spidey the ability to switch between his regular suit and black suit at a moment's notice. Now, being a Spider-Man game, you're of course bound to meet tons of other Marvel characters as you play, and one of those characters in Web of Shadows is Black Cat. The relationship between Spidey and Black Cat is kind of weird. One minute she wants him dead, the next she's planting a kiss on him. But I think it's safe to assume that neither of them really want to hurt each other. Well, that doesn't mean that we can't try. If you fail the quick time events in Web of Shadows, some of the outcomes are hilarious. Here, take a look at all of the QTE fails during the Black Cat fight. Are you okay? I told you to lay off. Are you okay? I told you to lay off. Cat! Oh God! Cat! Gotcha! So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and hidden details in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.